Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to scan network or infrastructure using Nexpos. We already done with the installation. Now, once the installation has been done, you will see the desktop icon. Okay, you just click on the desktop icon. It's going to open a page, localhost page. Okay, let me open that in incognizant window for my convenience. So, so let me log in with the credentials which I have given for the by installation. Okay. So now I am done with the login. So once you're done with the login, it's going to prompt for product key. So you can register and get the trial key for for the usage purpose. So click on activate with the key. So click on activate with the key. So it's going to take time to activate. So let's wait. So now the license has been activated. So this is how the dashboard looks like. Okay. So first let me go to the create and let me go to the site to create a scan. Okay. So now let me enter the name of the project as test. And you can also set the importance as high or medium or low. In my case, I'm going to set it as normal and you can add the description and you can add the organization details on access, etc. Okay, coming to the assets. So in this, we are going to give the IP addresses. So I already chosen the web IP with me. So I'm going to scan the IP. So you can also give this URL to scan like facebook.com or you also can give the range like 192.168.0.120.0.5 to scan between them, etc. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to give a specific IP or else you can also import the txt files of list of ips and you can also exclude the ips here okay so now i give in the ip and let me go to the authentication part so here we can also give the credentials of the port etc okay so in my case i'm not going to give the i'm going to run non-authentication scans and the templates so if you see here, if you want to perform only denial of service, you can perform denial of service. If you want to only perform discover scans, you can do that. Okay. In my case, I'm going to go with full audit. So it's going to do everything. Now go to the engines. In this, it will be a local scan engine because we already installed the console. Sometimes we may not, or we can't install these things. Then we can also directly get this from the rapid seven. Okay. So let's scans schedule scan if you want to schedule a scan in a particular time you can also run this now i'm done with the configuration let me click on save So click on scan now. Scan name is test and it's going to be full audit and start now. Click on start now. So it's going to start the scan. So you can see the progress bar here. So it's going to take time. So let me pause this video. Now the scan has been finished. Okay. So now let's go to the vulnerabilities and we can list out the vulnerabilities what are being identified during the scan. Okay. So in this case, I have identified a vulnerability 
and the risk rating is 0, 0.00 and the severity is moderate and let's see what exactly it is so it is showing that the CV is this one so you can go to the exploit DB and you can search with CV with the following ID to get the more information and if is, there is any exploit you can use that exploit code okay and you can launch the further attacks and it also gives us a mitigation plan so how do we do the mitigation of this vulnerability okay now once it's done let's go to the report generation so now I want to generate a report okay so first let me give it the report as scan test or whatever it might be and let's go to the what is the P, if you want to generate in PDF you can also use PDF or TF or XML or HTML or text okay I'm going to use the audit report and click on save and run the report so it's going to generate the report for us so let me select the scan click on ok and save and run the scan so now it's going to generate a report so report is getting generated now the report has been generated successfully and this is how the reported UI report UI looks like and you can directly share with the clients that's it guys thank you thank you so much